Okay. Uh, they lived over there, and my grandfather, Messiah, had a farm, and they raised beautiful crops. This river used to run in those days. There's water here. And my grandfather, Messiah Lyman, would go out into the field, kneel down, and put his arms to the heavens, and ask Heavenly Father to bless these crops. And my dad would say, I never saw such big squashes and things in my life. <laughs> but they could really grow things. They had a little basement over there, and Grandma would can stuff and put it in the basement. Is that how still standing? No, but remember, before Daddy died, the year before he died, we all walked over there and wandered around, and there's probably little pieces of plates, you know, and stuff over there, but we don't, we, they lost that property. But this is the, the place where, when Miriam and Mosiah came as newlyweds, had a little tiny cabin, very small, and that's when the, Messiah was out of, with the horses, and something said to him, go north, Messiah. Well, north is that way. Well, he didn't listen. It said it twice, then it said it three times. So he went up on that hill, and when you get up on that hill, you can see all the things where we turned into Pinedale. And there's where he saw the Indians coming. And so they got, they got in their wagons and went way over to Mortenson Ranch, but it's over uh, past the schoolhouse, headed towards Shola Water Dirt Road. It's where there was a little fort, and that's where they went. When they got back, the feather bed was, every, all the feathers were everywhere. The saddles, every, all the leather stuff was cut up. Chickens, necks were wrung, the pigs were killed, <coughs> the dishes were broken, the books were torn up except one book. What do you think one book that they didn't tear up? It was the Book of Mormon.